So I just got back from seeing the personal history of David Copperfield and I will say I did enjoy it. Let's get into it. The personal history of David Copperfield is a comedy slash drama. The film is directed by Armando Lanucci and then the film stars Dev Patel as David Copperfield. We have Hugh Laurie as Mr. Dick, Tilda Swinton as Betsy Trotwood. And the plot of this movie is the life of David Copperfield from childhood to maturity with his adventures and web of friends and enemies he meets along his way. So going into this movie, I actually didn't know anything about this movie at all. Um, just so everyone else knows, this movie is not based on the magician David Copperfield. This movie is actually going to be based on the novel David Copperfield by Charles Dickens, which I haven't read that novel either and actually didn't know anything about it. Um, the main reason I decided to go watch this movie was because Dev Patel's in this movie. Um, I, one, I like him as an actor, and typically anytime I see him in a movie, I usually really enjoy the movie. And today also happens to be my birthday, and it's on a Monday, and everyone else is working, and I saw this was in theaters, checked out the trailer, and figured why not give it a shot. And I'm glad I did because I really enjoyed this movie. So the story starts out with David as a kid. He's being raised by his mother and this woman named Miss Peggotty. His father has passed away. And you can tell David has a really special childhood because the adults around him really do care about him. And you can tell that in the movie. Um, this doesn't last long though because David's mom remarries and the new husband does not like David. And then shortly after that, David's sent away. And this movie is really about following David's journey and following his life along the way through that, through ups and downs. Um, David is a writer and he really enjoys meeting new people and writing about these new characters um, along the way. So what did I like about this movie? Overall, I'll have to say this movie is a, just very charming, heartfelt, and a very funny mo movie as well. And I really enjoyed it. Um, I loved all the characters we meet along the way. We definitely meet a ton of different quirky characters. Everyone's kind of quirky in their own way. And they all have their own funny moments. Um, I think Dev Patel did a great job as David Copperfield. I really loved his performance. There's a lot of funny moments he has. And overall, he just, it's very, very heartfelt. And yeah, he did a great job acting. And I enjoyed watching his character kind of go through these ups and downs. And like I said before, anytime I've seen him in a movie, I usually always enjoy the movie. And so far, he's not let me down. Um, also, I would say the cast itself. We have a good cast. And they are, they're all funny in their own way. I really enjoyed um, Tilda Swinton in this role as well. He, she plays his aunt in the movie, and she was really cool. She definitely is, is different. A lot of the characters are definitely different in their own way um, and quirky. Um, but yeah, she definitely had some funny moments as well. There's a scene where you see her throw someone off a donkey and kick them. And it just was crazy to watch, but it got, made, me, made me laugh. Um, but not even, every, all the characters were very charming. And, you know, I did like them in their own way. I also like the actress who played uh, Miss Peggotty a lot as well. So overall, I would say the cast was really good. Um, and also, I got to say the cinematography was really cool as well. Um, we got to see a lot of cool things visually, especially when David's talking and you see him writing a story and somehow you see that story start to come to life and you kind of see it through his imagination. I thought that there were some definitely cool moments with that and just seeing old London and just stuff I didn't think I'd need it to see that I saw and I was like, wow, that's really cool. Like for example, there's a, where they go to this house or not even a house, but it's a boat, a boat that's upside down on the beach that they turn into a house. And honestly, it just looks so cool to look at and I was like, wow, I'm gonna live there. So overall, I think the cinematography was really well in this movie and so yeah. what didn't I like about this movie? One, I'll have to say this movie is very, very fast paced. One, you're meeting a ton of characters and you're going through with David throughout his life, but just, he doesn't stick in one place long. It's like, before you know it, he's here, then he's here, then he's here. So you don't really get invested in a lot of these moments. And there's sometimes a couple things where a couple big things happen. And the storyline just doesn't slow down to kind of feel those emotions of what David's going through. You have a, a moment where, you know, someone dies. And if the storyline would have just kind of slowed down and let you feel David's emotions, I think it would have been a little bit more effective. Rather, the story just kind of, this big moment happens and boom, you're on to the next thing. So it's just this kind of fast-paced style that 
I just think it would have did a little bit better had the movie just slowed down a little bit. Um, also, we like I said, we meet a ton of characters and all these characters are kind of quirky and in their own way. They're all quirky and kind of weird or unique in their own way. Um, and at times they feel like this, they can be a little bit cartoony and the story itself can be a little cartoony, um, which I don't know if everyone's gonna like that. Um, I do think that is the point of some of these characters because really this story is told through David's eyes. So when he's writing about these characters, they're kind of exaggerated characters. So I do think that is the point of the story is to have these kind of outrageous characters. But like I said, as a viewer watching all the characters kind of all be just outrageous, it was a little much at times. Um, and so overall, I had a really good time with this movie, and I'm glad I went. Whenever you go into a movie blind, you always run the risk of the movie being horrible, and this definitely, this movie was fantastic. And like I said, it made my day, and it made my day brighter. So I definitely recommend this movie to everyone. Um, I'd be curious to read the book now and see, does the movie hold up to the book? Um, if you have read the book, ha have you seen the movie? Um, please let me know in the comments below. If you did read the book, what did you think of the book? And um, do you plan on seeing this movie? And also, if you have seen this movie, did you like the movie? And who was your favorite character in the movie? Um, thank you so much for watching this. And please subscribe and like this video. And yeah, thank you.